We're here at the Saxon Ring racetrack. I'm particularly pleased that I can now do a few laps here with the new M3 and M4. Overall, it's always very important for us to see how the cars perform on racetracks, in addition to testing on public roads. Along with the Nürburgring and Hockenheim Ring, we always like to drive on the Saxon Ring because we know it's a very challenging circuit and because we've had very good experiences here with previous cars and in competition. With the new M3 and M4, it's of course very important to us to clearly top the fans' expectations given that its predecessor already set the bar very high. And the first impressions from driving them here show me that we're absolutely on the right track. It was extremely important for us to improve the overall driving performance, to increase the front axle grip in order to give the cars a higher level of lateral acceleration. Ein höheres Level an Querbeschleunigung zu zugestehen. Das heißt, ganz wichtiger Punkt war richtige Räderreifendimension. That meant the most significant factors were the right wheel tire dimension, the tuning of the axle, the tuning of the steering, the development of new tires, wider tires, much wider tires than the predecessors, and all this with a very strong, very precise connection to the body. Und so. And as the car shows here now, it's clear that we can achieve a significant lift compared to the predecessor. The car looks much more agile, more precise, leads superbly from the front axle and thus allows higher speeds overall, due to the fact that the car has very good drivability, high stability, and of course a significantly higher level than the predecessor due to the higher engine power. We'll be offering the M3 and M4 in two performance levels. As a manual 480 horsepower, which is already 30 horsepower more than the competition model of their predecessors, and in the competition version with 510 horsepower in combination with the M 8-speed Steptronic transmission. And that's really a lot of fun, because the car can be driven very precisely, very performantly, and very emotionally and enthusiastically. What we'll also be offering for the first time in these vehicles is the ability to configure the braking through the integrated brake, something we introduced in the M8, as well as the X5M and the X6M, and are now taking to a new generation through the further development of the traction control. Essentially, this means you have the feeling of being not only very softly guided when driving at the limit, and not of a system that is intervening very overtly and very harshly. Of course, this also helps to maintain your momentum without the car getting into any stability-critical situations. All in all, it's a lot of fun. I think if we use the time we have now, about half a year, for the final fine-tuning, we'll succeed in creating a very worthy and competent successor to the very successful M3 and M4. And I'm confident that our fans, our customers and the press will all soon confirm this. I'm looking forward to my M3.